Hi, it's Mrs. Mesh. I'm going to show you how to create a brochure using Google Drawing uh, for your class project. First thing you're going to do is open up your Google Drive, go to New, scroll down to More, and then down to Google Drawings. So now you have a blank drawing. Now to make it a trifold brochure, we're going to be doing that by and making a table here and spreading that out to make it trifold. You can also make it bifold or any other way you would like to. So first thing I will do is go to insert table and since I decided trifold I just have to go three boxes. Now what's really nice about Google Drawings is you can take this all the way to the edge really easily. So that will be your next step just dragging it over. Now, so we have one side of our brochure here, and to do a second side, you would just have to create another one, um, and you could do that by just duplicating this here. You could make a copy or duplicate the Google Drawing. So, I want to enter a picture. Pretty, It's very easy, so all we need to do is go up here to the toolbar, image, search, and I'm going to look for Falling Water by Frank Lloyd Wright. So I really like this picture, so I'm going to pick that one. Obviously it's too large for my brochure, so I could just size it down. And again, with Google Draw, it's really nice how you can um, move things around very easily to put it in different areas of whatever you're working on, whether it's brochure or something else. Now let's put a title. So to put a text box, you can go to insert or just right up here to the toolbar. And then you're just going to draw that out. And let's go with a minute marker. We'll go about 30. And I see it's going to be a little bit too big, so let me just make this a little bit bigger. And then you can center that very easily just by going here. And again, you can just put more text box. Now if you want uh, for your information, just make your text box a little bigger for some of the other folds in the brochure. Um, and same thing with the other parts of it, but you already have this here, so you will only see it though when you click on it because it doesn't have a borderline on it, so that, that does make it really nice and clean for when you are complete with it. Um, also, what's nice with Google Draw, you can also format your pictures. Uh, here you could see I have the picture there. I can make it lighter or more transparent. I could do an effect like that and then maybe take these words and put it over top. There's a lot of really neat things you can do using Google Draw. And then once you're finished with this, you're going to save it. Um, and again, if you're doing it two-sided, all you need to do, it, again, is go File, make a copy of this and then you're going to just fill in the information for your other side and then you would print it on your printer. Uh, for that you would have to print out one side, refeed the paper, and print the other side. Okay, any questions just let me know. Mrs. Mesh.